Hey everyone, this is a video I recorded on the test server last month when the derby was still in testing. I didn't upload it because I had some other videos I wanted to put up instead, but I decided to go ahead and put it up now for anyone who wants a bit more of a heads up about how the derby works before it starts next week on July 19th. Now, this was literally my first time looking at the derby. It was day one of the derby testing, so this was a bit of a first impressions for me and figuring out how it works too, so I'm probably going to sound like I was bumbling around a bit. I did put in a few edits afterwards to explain some of the things I might have left out in the audio or that I realized after I was done recording but just keep in mind this was the first day of testing so you know some things like prices or something might change when this goes live but anyway here was me taking a first look at the derby now how do we play uh, during a race throw the ball as many times as you need to in order to get your horse to the finish line use bonuses to increase your chances of landing on holes with the higher value and getting your horses to progress faster to get Get these you can win competitions which are six per win two times per day catch ufos and ask your friends for help maximum of six times per day let's see what's next and then this is just um the divine horse caryopsis so i've already looked at that let's see how we play the derby thanks to your involvement okay these are just my prizes for the great challenge make sure we click to get my prizes all right, what on earth do we do with this? This is totally a totally new event here. Okay, um, start. Choose a horse. We're going to, how about Lucky? I feel lucky. All right, we're lucky. So we're this blue horse right here. We're going to click. You can use bonuses, I know, to cover up these holes. And when you use a bonus, it'll close up the hole with the lowest number I believe is how that works let me go back real quick and see that let's click on bonuses okay the bonus plugs up the hole with the weakest value during a throw which would be like three so let's say six is the highest value that means it would like close up the three hole the four hole and then etc so that's how that works okay I have four bonuses right now because I did find a UFO earlier with the bonus all right, we're just going to throw it. We're not going to use any bonuses right now. So you're going to click throw. The ball's going to go in one of these holes. I didn't look. I didn't really catch what I had. All right, we're going to throw again. Got in the four hole that time. We're going to throw again. How many throws do I get? These are throws. That's asking for bonus. We're going to ask for bonuses. I don't know if anybody's on the test. If anybody's on the test server right now, <laughs> please give me some help here. All right, so it's just 500 each time. It doesn't look like this increases at all. Okay, what is this? Give bonuses. Okay, nobody's asking for help right now. And these are actual bonuses that you can buy. Like I said, I have four right now because I did catch a UFO earlier. I haven't bothered trying to win any competitions. I could do that later. I think you just keep throwing until the race actually finishes is how that works. So we got the six right there. Not doing so hot. Okay, we got a four. It looked to be in second place. All right, go again. Six. Ooh, I'm in the lead. Go, horsey, go. I got four. I'm actually doing pretty good. I've gotten either six or four. I got a six again. Got five. That works. Come on, lucky. Six. Yeah, I'm so close. Gonna win? Am I? Do I win? Do I win? Did I win? Oh, I didn't. I guess I didn't cross the finish line. Come on, horse. Yes, I win. Yay! I win, I get 15 flag. So, prizes. Let's see what the prizes are. And what happens is that you collect flags. And, like, right now I have 15 flags. And you can trade your flags in for prizes. So, it's not so much like the lottery where what you're given is random. But, I mean, your placing in this is random, pretty much. You're just throwing that little ball to try to get it in whatever hole. And then you can basically just keep all your flags and then trade them in later. And it looks like you can actually get Caryopsis by trading in 1,350 flags. So you need 1,350 flags in order to get Caryopsis. All right, so these are all the prizes. We've got 50 sand, some mash, some aquas, some colored tack, 200 droppings. Really? That's a terrible prize. <laughs> Aging points, fility stroke. These are pretty good here. Like, once you get up to this row here, like 25,000, you can trade in 50 flags and get 25,000 Aquas. That's pretty sweet, I think. Fertility wand for 120, 220 for a horn of plenty, 800 for more. Ooh, 900 flags for a staff. Heck yeah. I want that. <laughs> I like that. Okay. 
This is like set up so different. I'm not sure I'm liking the layout that's been going on that they've been doing because I have like no idea where anything is on here anymore. It's like, what is this? This is the history. Okay. All right, let's go back. Okay, that's the store. It looks like a little, okay, this is the prizes. So if you want to figure out what your pri where the prizes are, it's this little icon that actually looks more like a little trash bin. <laughs> okay, this is where the prizes are located. It's not your typical gift, go gift box this time. Okay, so five Equus. How many runs do we get a day? Okay, during a race, throw the ball, use bonuses. It doesn't say... I don't remember how many times this is supposed to run per day, but it looks like I can play again. We're going to go with Lucky because he did so well last time. All right. Throw the ball into the four hole. Throw the ball again. I've got a five. Looks like I'm in third. Okay. Now we're kind of, we're kind of even. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty much in last place. Come on, Lucky. What happens? I'm gonna... I don't know if I want to bother. I don't know what these bonuses... It looks like there'd be no point in using it until later on. Because if you use a bonus, you could get in the lead, like, right here. And then you'd be, you know, stuck later on. Like, basically, I would use your bonuses till the last minute. It's like a booster. Like, say, if you got, like, a speed boost for something, I would wait till the last minute to use your bonuses. Because you could probably get through it in the lead the whole time. Like, I was doing terrible in the beginning, but now I'm doing pretty well. So save your bonuses and choose the lucky horse. This horse is really good. <laughs> Hope lucky will be in the live version. Did I win? I win. I win again. Two in a row. I hope this happens when this goes live. So this is the, that's annoying. Why does that go straight there? I probably could have clicked cancel and it wouldn't have done that. Okay. So we're going to go back. So we can do another race for 20 Equus. Is that what's happening? That's what it looks like. Automated race. Or I guess what happens is that if you just want to try your luck, you can just click. Why don't we just try this? Because I have money to spend on here. It doesn't matter. So if you click this, I think what happens is that it'll just finish it for you. Yeah, it'll just like automatically do it. And I got third. Okay, well, I'd rather not do that. Refresh. How much will it cost to do that again? The same price. I'd rather. We're going to do this one more time. Just want to see. Click. Start. Okay. You can't really tell which horse you are. Oh, because this dotted line's right here. My oops. <laughs> Ooh, that was awful. I got a three that time. Got a five. Okay, we're going to use a bonus just to make sure that that's what the bonus does. So if when I use a bonus, it should cover up the three hole right here. All right, we just want to use one. So it should plug up. Yeah, it plugged up the three hole. So now I'm guaranteed at least a four, a five, or a six. Five. Oh, and it only uses that for one turn. Well, that's kind of crummy, <laughs> I guess. Let's do that one more time. So let's use that one. Yeah, so let's use another one. It should end up plugging up one of the four holes. All right. So it only lasts for one turn. So we're going to use it. Oh, it does. That's terrible. I would, I would hope that would have lasted. I guess it makes sense because, like, in in terms of horse logic, it would be to our benefit if it did last the whole time. So if it's a horse's benefit, they'll take it away after one turn. We're going to lose, I think. Yep. Three. Come on, Lucky. Uh-oh. We're in, looks like third. Okay. One more. Come on. Four. Oh, I still, oh, yes, I did. I won. Okay. So that's how it works with this derby thing you just sit here and you click looks like you can play it quite a bit the starting price it multiplies by something I'm sure but it's not saying how it's not saying during a race throw the ball as many times as you need to how many times can you play it doesn't say it should say it probably says it in the tester form how much this this goes up by and I just don't remember what that was so I have 58 flags right now what if what happens if I click on that that just shows me my flags 
And then this is to go and trade them in. So it looks like what you can do is just save up your flags, just play the derby as many times as you can, save up flags, and you could potentially trade in your flags to get carry ops. So, so I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for joining me today, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.